Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, that lesson, boy. That, that, been, that, that definitely could have been an all-day lesson next year. All week. Amen. Amen. That's true. Uh, it's definitely good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. It's Amen. definitely good that God gave allowed us to see another day. Yes. Another day to get closer to him, to learn about his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise awaits you, our God in Zion. To you, our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer. To you, all people will come. When we are overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds. God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who form the mountains by your power, have an arm yourself with strength, who still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders, where morning dawns, where evening fades. You call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. You drenched its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. The grassland of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. I read for you Psalm chapter 65, verses 1 through 13. And in reading all that, that's still just a drop in the bucket of what God has done for us. So let's give him praise, Amen. glory, and honor this morning. Amen. 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 Father God, we stand before you, Lord, humbly as we can be. And Father, I'm asking now, if anyone out there seeking your grace and your mercy and your love, we all do, Lord. We ask you, Lord, if there's anyone out there that needs prayer, come to the altar. If you need whatever it is, bring it to the altar. If it's something that you want to get away from, put it up here. Sit it here and leave it. Don't pinch off of it. Don't take none back. You don't need it. God can take care of it for you. He's there for you. He's reaching his hands out for you, Lord. Just reach back out to him. Touch him. He's there for you. Remember, the footsteps in the sand, he's always with you. He never leaves. Don't leave him. So if you have a problem, you have something that you want to get rid of, bring it to the altar and leave it here. Give it back to God. He can handle it. You can't. He can fix it. You can't. Give it to him and let him take over. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God has been good. God is good. Uh -huh. You know what someone was saying to you are God? That's right. <laughs> Man. I just don't know any of them will order my steps. That's right. Who else gonna order your steps? If, if you if you allow him to. We a lot of stuff has been said in, in, in uh, Sunday school this morning. 
We need to start letting God order our steps. Right. Or we need to start being right by God and being obedient to the word of God. Amen. 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 Because God is good. Yes. All the time. All the time. Yes. And all the time. God is good. Amen. 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 Because who, 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 who can you serve other than him? No. Nobody. Nobody. Yet we have so many masters out here. Yes, we do. That man serves. Except the one true master. The good master. Who they run away. They just shy away from. They stay away from. They hide, as the word said. The lesson yes. was saying this morning. They're in hiding right now. They, they hide behind the tree. <laughs> not knowing that he sees them behind the tree. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. September the 30th, 2018. Last uh, Sunday in September. Amen. We're getting ready to go into October. Yes. Before we know it, Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas yes. will be here. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're getting ready. And you know, we, we're gonna we're gonna prepare ourselves for uh, 2019. Let's just get a jump start and get a head start on it this morning. Amen. Get us ready to go into the new year, ready to serve God even more than we have already. Amen. Amen. Just gonna continue to give to him as he continues to give to us. Amen. Because the way you give to the way God will give to you. Amen. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you this morning, God. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your power and your strength. Now, Lord, I ask you just be a blessing upon each and every family represented here this morning, that you continue to walk with them, be with them, guide them, and nurture them through your word. Now, Father, give us a word from heaven this morning. Because let it be your voice that the people of God hear this morning. But let them be obedient to your word and receive your word. And meditate on it. To make them better disciples of you. These are the things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say it like you mean it. This is my Bible. This, this is my God. God. The word, the word of God, God in whom I will trust. trust. I'm going to tell you this morning, it's not going to be a joke. Amen. We're going straight to the word of God this morning. The book of John chapter 6, starting at verse 29. John chapter 6, starting at verse 29. And just so you all will know and so you can stay with me, I'm going 29, then I'm going to jump to 32. And from 32 and 33, then I'm going to jump to 35. I'm going to skip 30 and 34. John chapter 6, starting at verse 29. And I'm going to say this again so you stay with me. I'm going to have 29, then I'm going to jump to uh, 29, then I'm going to jump to 32. I'm going to skip 30 and 31. I'm going to read 32, 33, and I'm going to skip 34. Then I'm going 35 through 40. 6 and 29. John chapter 6, starting at verse 29. When I read 29, jump down to 32. And when I read 32 and 33, jump down to 34. I mean 35. We skip at 34. Amen? Okay. I'm reading the NIV this morning. Amen, as always. Is that what we do? We there? John chapter 6, starting at verse 29. Amen. 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 You got it? Mm -hmm. Amen. <coughs> the word reads as thus. John chapter 6, verse 29. Read not in NIV. Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. I really could stop right there. Amen. Amen. Down to 32. And Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. But nobody will read it. <laughs> Jumping down to 35, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. 
For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. And that's coming. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. You may be seated in the presence of God. Amen. We had good songs this morning, didn't we? Yes, we did. We had a good, we had a good little praise session this morning, didn't we? Yes, did we not? Yes, sir. Praise message was on point. Yes. That's why this morning we're going to talk about a coming out point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Diana Ross used to have a song, I'm coming out, I want the world to know, got to let it go. Right. See, that, 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 you know, that applies. Yes, it does. <laughs> because we do want the world to know. Yeah. And you've got to let go of all this sin. Yeah. Oh, it's trying to help me somebody this morning. Amen. Because the word of God, I have a brother more worry about it, ain't going to be no points. Amen. We just we just give we just strictly give the word of God this morning. All right. Because God is tired of all the nonsense. Yes, I'm coming out. Coming I out. want the world to know. Yeah. Got to let it go. Got to let it go. Coming out party this morning. Yes. Amen. Because when it comes to God and giving that word of God, you have got to let go of all this nonsense that's going on in the world today. Amen. Think about it. We got all these televangelists. And you know, I, I, you know, it's time to tell the truth. Whether, whether, whether people like what I'm saying or not, I really don't care. Amen. Truth is, they full of you know what. <laughs> I'm tired of man pimping God's people. Amen. Really. We put all our hope in the man that stands in the pulpit. It ain't nothing but the devil in the pulpit. All right, all right. Whether they like that or not, if the shoe fit, <coughs> wear it. Okay. Because we have taken church, and I'm going to steal this from Juanita Bynum. We have taken church. There ain't nothing in the church now that's, that's new slavery. See, people don't want to hear that because, oh, I ain't no slave. Yes, you are, because you're a slave to a man. Instead of being a slave to God, we become slaves to man. That's right. That's because man is standing up here filling them full of you know what and their own doctrine instead of the word of God because the word of God says, Jesus said this, the word of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. And see, all those that be talking about God sent me, they lying. If God sent you, you wouldn't be trying to build your empire. <laughs> If God sent you. Right. I hear you, Pastor. <laughs> See, you worrying about your little empire crumbling. Yes. We got men and women out there, they you know they, they get together. Oh, I got ten thousand. Oh, they, well, you know, I got twenty thousand. Shit. That ain't nothing. I got thirty-five thousand worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> we bragging on how many people we got. You got 35,000, but how many ain't really know Christ? None of them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Out of that 35,000. All right, all right. How many truly, you know, I ain't saying how many come to church. No, I may believe. How many believe in the power of Jesus? Amen. See, they, they having a hard time believing because you having a hard time believing. Okay. Amen. <laughs> We call ourselves when we stand up and we 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 the head, we the we the leader, bishop, apostle, all the other names they want to give themselves. <laughs> Everybody self-proclaimed. Yeah. Or they've been proclaimed by some denomination. Yeah. Some man that told you you a bishop. Well, I think last time I read in the word, it said is if you know when Timothy he said my bishops, pastors, teachers, I don't need no man to give me no title. I don't really need, even need the word. I don't even need the title pastor. My mama named me William. That's who God knows. That's who he called. He didn't call Pastor William. He called William. Uh, hello, somebody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> because
Jones, he said, you know, you got to believe in the one he has sent. Now, and, and the word even tells us, <clears throat> excuse me, that many are called. Oh, so y'all know the word. Y'all know the word. Y'all with me on this. Y'all know the word. Y'all know the word. See, many are called, and, and the church say, few are chosen. But see, you know, but, but, but there's a whole flock of folks that 35 and 20,000. They say many are called, and few are chosen, but everybody in there think they chose. <laughs> I'm here to tell y'all this morning, it's a coming out party, because we have got to start believing in the word of God. Yes. <clears throat> we got to stop following men. I, I'm not, I, don't get me wrong, don't, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm not saying every man of God is, is bad. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is there's a bunch of devils in the pulpit. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's time for exposure. You know? Uh, you, 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 all you teach is prosperity. You don't tell nobody about what the word says. As we were talking about this morning in the Bible study, uh, they was teaching about, about, about uh, Adam and Eve and the sin that was created. Well, who, who teaches that? That's, right. hey, that's a good question. Who teaches about Adam and Eve? Like, like, and the first thing they say, well, they should already know about Adam and Eve. But do you know because you ain't taught nothing about it. <laughs> See, most churches, you go, you go to most of these churches and ask them who, who, who committed sin, they're going to say it was Eve's fault. Yes. Now, how many people you know that said that? Oh, it was Eve's fault. Read the word. <laughs> Wasn't that Eve's fault? Yeah. It was Adam's fault. Well, God made Adam first. Yeah. And he told Adam, Not. don't eat from that tree. That's right. Then when she did eat from it, she gave her, she it, her, her Adam, here, come, come and taste this. He already knew what God said. Right. But he said, you know what? The hell with God. I'm eating some of this. <laughs> and that's what he did. <laughs> but who teaches that? This is why we have so much sin in the world. But sin had to be in the world. If sin had not been in the world, why would Jesus need to come? That's right. That's right. <laughs> if there was no sin, Jesus would have no reason to die on the cross. That's it. But who teaches that? We too busy preaching feel-good messages. Well, let's talk about grace and mercy. You should already know about grace and mercy. You know about grace when you woke up this morning, open your eyes. That was grace right there. We can always preach about our feel-good. They give people feel-good message. We don't want to give nobody the, the cold, hard truth of the word of God. So what you step on some toes? So what you hurt somebody's feelings? Praise the Lord. Get over it. Read the word. Learn. Grow. And I'm talking about the poor people. Because they need to stop feeding God's people junk. God said, <clears throat> and Jesus, very truly I tell you, it's not Moses who has given you this bread from heaven. But who teaches that? How many people are hearing that from the word? Look here. It wasn't Moses. Everybody, see, man, up here in this pulpit? Moses. <laughs> <laughs> the word that told you it was not Moses that gave you that prayer from heaven. That's right. Even Moses had to be able had to bow down to God. But man has taken that a whole step forward. We think we think we don't have to do nothing now. You know what I'm saying? We got an empire going on here. We we you know, we driving roads. We got two hundred thousand dollars. I mean, two million dollar houses, four million dollar houses. You know, some of us got a house in every state. Amen. <laughs> but this morning, we coming out because we coming out from under the devils hand that lays upon every man, woman, and child. It's time for people to realize and know that God is real. Yes. So many people talk about Jesus. Jesus you know, y'all, y'all, y'all worship the prophet. Man, Jesus, Jesus is the son of God. You can call him what you want to call him. But see, I'm going to call him the son of God. That's what he That's right. That's right. All y'all do, y'all y'all study that white man's Bible. I, last time I read, ain't no white man wrote this. The same, the same, you know, I guess I should study your Bible, the one that you wrote, right? <laughs> the one you, you, you extracted some words from the word of God and then changed them over to your own doctrine, and that's what you teach. Now, that's the word of God, huh? The devil is a lie. 
And that's what's being taught today. We got the Hebrews, Israelites, black Israelites, whatever the heck they want to be called. You know, they look good and they purple. But how royal are they really? Okay. Now we can always we, look, we can all put on a show and march march down the street and look good. Oh, look at the men. The men representing representing what? What 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 that I think last time when they were down, remember when they left, they still got the same problem. <laughs> Didn't that change? See, we gotta stop doing stuff for show. That's right. We gotta stop doing something just to be in front of a camera. We gotta stop. We gotta stop lying to the people of God. And I'm sick and tired of you know the church getting such a bad name because of all these bad apples that <laughs> fell off the tree. Amen. It's sitting up there talking about they teaching the word of God, and you got a whole bunch of folks in there talking about, yeah, I'm a Christian. Christian, spell it. Everybody want to profess Christianity, but everybody want to keep on, keep on acting like the devil. I'm a Christian. Oh, my, my bad. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I forgot. You're here every Sunday. That makes you a Christian. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> Just because you show up don't make you a Christian. That's right. I don't care if you showed up and sat there for the last 50 years. What, what have you done? In your 50 years that you was here, besides all that seat that you claim is yours. <laughs> Don't let nobody sit in. <laughs> uh, excuse me. You, you in my seat. This, this is church, man. What, 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 I ain't no name on this. I, I've been coming here for 50 years. Okay, and? I just came in here today. This is a seat. Sit down. But that's what we do. Yeah. And this is what we teach. Yeah. See? There's a whole lot of teaching going on, but how much of it is, is true doctrine from the Word of God? See? <laughs> this is why God said, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven, not Moses. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Can't no man give you life. Man, you know, I'm gonna give you a lot of grief <laughs> and a lot of lies. I'm so tired of all the con artists that call themselves pastors, bishops. Mm -hmm. You got people in your church. You got you. You bring in 40, 50, 60 million dollars a year, and yet you got poor people in your church. Uh oh, somebody help me on this. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why people in your church struggling, and you got all this money. And don't say it takes care of the church and you know, the business of the church. That's a lie. You take $10 million and do all you need to do for the business of the church. That leaves you about 40, 50 million left. Amen. That means you can give another 10 to those that's struggling in your church. Amen, amen. <coughs> that's right. Nobody in your church should have a light bill problem. Hello? Right. Hello? Uh -oh. That's right. Nobody in your problem should have, should, should have to catch the bus to church. All right, all right. We're going to get a church bus. Why, what you need a church bus for? Give everybody a call. Uh, 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 uh. I ain't say you had to go buy my beans. <laughs> go get them a Chevy Cruze. Oh, no. Left twelve thousand dollars, thirteen thousand dollars for a car. You could bought twenty of them and gave them away. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Hello. Matter of fact, with that forty fifty, you could have bought you could have bought sixty of them and gave them away. Yeah. Amen. But this is what we do. The Bible tells you you're, you're the rich. Take care of the poor. The Bible tells you that they say, you know, the ones that say you, you've been called. He said, feed my sheep. That's right. I mean, when you feed them the word of God, you're also responsible to take care of them. <laughs> okay. That's how I like that. I won't ask. Uh, <laughs> the pastor, you know, the pastor, you know, feed, you know we'll feed the sheep. Take care of the sheep. Well, I'm, I'm $20 short. <laughs> Amen. 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 Let, 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 me, let me tell you something. Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. William did not declare that. <laughs> whoever comes to me will never go hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. That's right. That's right. Jesus said that. So don't come to me because I didn't say it. 
Cause I, I ain't got no bread, and I ain't got no, 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 nothing to give you for quench your thirst. Give you some water. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but as I told you, you have seen me and still do not believe. How many people in churches around this world today are going to church and don't even believe in Jesus Christ? They don't believe. There are so many churches today that don't preach about Jesus. And I, I hate to call them out, but y'all know who they are. I don't need I don't need to call no names or nobody's uh, denomination or church. Y'all know who they are. They don't believe in Jesus. And I, I don't understand that when, you know, when, only, when when Jesus himself already told you in the word, the only way to the Father is through me. If you can't get if you don't you can't get past me and get to the Father. If you ain't got no relationship with me and you, you say you don't even believe in me. That last day is coming. It is. That's a sure thing. Yes. The last day is coming. And he said the dead shall rise first. I don't know about y'all, but I, 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 want, I hope I'm already six feet under. Because I want to be one of them rising first. The dead, he said the dead. dead go. Don't kill yourself on that day. Oh, <laughs> 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 so I, I want to rise first. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what song we'll be doing. Gonna be trying gonna be trying to kill itself. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus said, For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. See, this is what a lot of preachers forget about the call of God upon their lives. You forgot about doing the will of the one who sent you. We've gotten caught up in the world. We start bring, well, let me tell you something. The church is full of the world right now. That's true. That's true. We start letting it, you know, they, 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 they dancing down the aisles like they're at the club. Mm -hmm. Huh? Everybody, everybody believe in uh, 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 same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. It's okay now. That's, you know, and the preacher's going along with it. Yeah, that's, you know, I marry you. I ain't marrying nobody of the same sex. Now, I've told people that. I love you. You can come to church. You can come to church all you want to. But you can't serve and nothing in here. You can come to church. I don't love you. And I don't marry folks that are the same sex marriage. I'm not doing it. You don't get me under your abomination. No, that's right. that's the truth. Yeah. But don't nobody want to talk that truth, see? Too much money coming in from the gay community. <laughs> Right. Amen. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hello. If I got a big church that's supporting the gay community, oh, we're flocking up in there. Mm -hmm. look, look at the man. We just got a hundred members. That's more ties. <laughs> hey, <Yeah. laughs> hey, that's exactly tough. Pastor needs new beans. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them on in. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know, I'm going to ask my church. I, I need, I need a private jet. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it costs 62 million dollars. <laughs> 62 million. Oh, Lord. This is what we, this is, these are people we look at as our worship leaders. Yes, they do. You can't leave me and all you think about is yourself. But we get so caught up with, with a few words from somebody, they, they, they'll give you a script and then they start feeding you junk after that. And you just fall into the trap. Yeah, that's a trap. My man criminal said everybody gonna be rich. And you know, how you gonna tell that lie to them people and make them believe that? Right. Everybody gonna prosper. Everybody should prosper. God wants everybody. How you know what God wants? That that this that would have been my first question. But I'm not. How do you know what God wants? Did God tell you that? And I'm waiting on him to tell me, yes, he did. Well, you know what? I'm trying to figure out why he never told me. Because <clears throat> why is God going to tell you something before he tell me? See, he's going to tell me first so you can confirm it. But don't come tell me, you know, that God told you something about me. And he ain't even told me. See, but we get caught up with all, all the other words they're throwing at us. We don't, we don't think. We don't, we don't think about the questions we should be asking. We just give, and they just snatching, and they taking. And yes, they got churches worldwide. They got a congregation worldwide, world, worldwide, and international industry. 
And they're not, not they're, they're, they're dot org, they're companies now. What happened to the church? It's business. <laughs> we already know the devil was in church. But man, he brought he started bring a whole bunch of soldiers. And we allowed it. From the pulpit to the, to the door. See, don't nobody, don't, <clears throat> tell you something. Don't nobody want to come to the little church because you're going to get the truth. Don't nobody want to hear the truth. And he don't know what he's talking about. That ain't true. What, the, the, the lies your pastor telling you is one that ain't true. Let me ask you something. This is what gets me. Pastors are making churches. Church bringing in millions of dollars, right? They already, most of them are already millionaires. You know, they're selling books and everything else, right? Why are they still getting a salary? That's right, for the church. Uh, why can't your salary go to those that are in need? I'm just saying. We are destroying the church. I told you the church is now the new slavery. Because we've become slaves to man. We've forgotten all about God. We've forgotten about our true purpose when we stand up here to teach the people of God the word of God. And not our own word and our own doctrines. It's hard for folks now to teach the word of God because there's too much. They start seeing themselves in there and they're like, oh my Lord. But that's all right. I'm, I'm going to feed them this. They're going to fall in. They're gonna, they, they love me. And that's why, you know, I, I read this word and in verse 39, he said, and this is the will of him who sent me that I shall lose none of all those he has given me. Those that come and know Jesus Christ and have their own personal relationship. He said, but raise them up at the last day. Jesus' will. He said, for, for, my, for my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son, looks to the Son, and believes in Him, shall have eternal life. And I will raise them up at the last day. If you don't know Jesus, don't expect to be raised. And I pity, and I feel sorry, and I pray for those that say He doesn't exist. That He's not the Son of God. That tells me that people, you really don't believe in the Trinity either. You don't believe that there's a Father, Son, and a Holy Spirit. And then there's some churches that, that gets me. They will believe in God and the Holy Spirit and leave Jesus totally out of it. And they run all up and down the churches, church aisles. And everybody saying, oh, we got the, they got the Spirit. They got the Spirit. I'm going to tell you what they got. <clears throat> they ain't the Spirit. <laughs> Stop letting folks tell y'all, you know, the people when, them, when they shouting and all that, that, they got the Holy Ghost. The devil is a lie. You got some human emotions, you feeling good about the word. The Holy Spirit is already in you. He don't need your help. You should be asking him for some help. But we don't ever talk to him until we want to dance. I can dance, 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 dance all night. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all you got to do is this. And the band's oh, that's our cue. <laughs> you sure ain't telling the truth. <laughs> you sure ain't telling the truth. Give people the truth. Give them the word. Skip all the nonsense. They don't need it. God say, feed my, feed, feed my flock. Feed his sheep. The word of God. Stop making up stuff. Stop putting all the other stuff in there for entertainment. This is not a circus. This ain't no concert. But, I'm sorry, we do have concerts in church, don't we? Amen. Amen. You know, the choir got to get about five songs in. And then somebody got to sing their solo. <laughs> And then there's somebody up there in the, in the third row saying, I could have sung better than that. She, 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 she can't sing. <laughs> but they in the spirit. 
Mm. Amen. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's, let, let's, let's just keep it real. It's time for man to stop. Look. Listen to your heart and what? <laughs> Stylistics. <laughs> Amen. Look, 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 just like, just like, just look, just like Diane Ross said, I'm coming out. That's right. I want the world to know. Got to let it go. And we was all in it. We were all like, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> But how many of us now, we say we're coming out for Jesus? Hmm. Uh, I'm coming. Ain't nobody doing this. <coughs> they doing this. Man, I wish you hear real game almost on. All right, all right. Hello, somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's time for us to stop. This is our day today, September 30, 2018. We're having a coming out party right here at OYLM. It's time for us to make changes in the way we live. It's time for us to make changes in the way we represent God. Amen. And we're going to continue to give and teach the word of God the way it should be, the way it was written, and the way it should be taught. Amen. There'll be no personal, you know, uh, uh, glory going on up in here. Amen. Up in here, up in here. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. Stop, look, and listen. That's what a lot of pastors need to do today. That's what a lot of teachers need to do today. That's what a lot of lay people need to do today. What a lot of deacons need to do today. Stop, look, and listen. Stop your nonsense. Look at yourself and listen to the Word of God. It don't get no better than that. It's time for changes. And if you're ready to make a change within yourself, accept the word. And don't be afraid to challenge those that you know is lying. <laughs> but if you challenge them, challenge them with the word. Because the word is true. Again, this ain't no white man's Bible. The word was written and inspired, God inspired men, certain men, to write the word of God. Now, anybody, I don't care what church you're in, and everybody says not. I want to, my question to them is, how old are you? Because you had to been there to know what they look like. <laughs> Amen. You know, are you an angel? <laughs> you, you, you know I mean? You, you got to be somebody from God, because if you know that the white man wrote this. <laughs> and last time I was, I, was, I was taught that, you know, the boy was inspired by God. <coughs> Just because this word is in NIV, uh, New Living Translation, ESV, it, it doesn't really matter. It's the word. If it ain't King James, some people don't even, don't even want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I said? King James. That's King right. James. Right. King James was a man. Right. He the one that changed it. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Amen. That's it. If you really want to look at the Holy Scriptures, it ain't in English, period. <laughs> it's in Hebrew. Now, who, know, who in here reads Hebrew? I know I don't. <laughs> if they present the meal, I'm just going to say, praise the Lord. Because <laughs> I can't read. Right. And on top of that, them Holy Scrolls, wherever they are, they're locked up somewhere. So we need to stop, we need to, we, we just need to stop doing all this nonsense. The word of God is the word of God. Think about it. You think they're over there in Korea with the word of God speaking in English? They speak in Korean. It's written in Korean. Hello? Japanese. Chinese. Well, some Chinese, they got to hide to read the word. Right. They better not get caught with, with the Bible. Instant death. Mm -hmm. I, I, so, same with the, over in the Middle East, with the Quran, <laughs> like that's the word. I, I, 
I ain't heard the Holy Scriptures name the Quran. That's a book that they wrote. Stop. Look and listen, you all. That's all I'm asking. I'm just praying that more men and women start really teaching the word of God and get away from their, their own self analogy and trying to make church a popularity contest. I, I'm just keeping it real. I mean, because it doesn't matter if people out here love me or not. I'm going to still give you what the word of God says. That's right. Amen. I'm not giving it to you to love me. Right. I'm giving it to you to love him. <coughs> to give him glory. That's right. Too many men already expect the people to take care of them. Do this for them. All they're worrying about is how much came in today. <laughs> I'm not lying. They want to report at the end of the service how much, how much we take in. Right. Uh, you know, and then this last Sunday, is it, is it payday? Don't forget to you know, pay my insurance on my house and pay my house note. But you get a salary. <laughs> Yeah. Coming out party, you all. Let's just follow the word of God. Amen. 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 Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel.